Hey guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena and Size Matters. However, being bigger isn't always better, at least when it comes to smartphones, for you see, the high-end segment is dominated by handsets, having screens of 5 inches and above, even though there are still people who value having a compact smartphone that is rich in features at the same time. The Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini and the HTC One Mini fit that description. In fact, they're probably the best compact Android smartphones money can buy right now. But which one of the two is better? So let's start with their design. Without a doubt, the HTC One Mini is the better looking smartphone. It easily wins our vote with its seamless unibody construction and premium metallic design. As for the plastic made Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini, it definitely catches the eye, but it simply lacks the character that the One Mini has. Both smartphones are narrow enough to be used very comfortably with a single hand. However, the Galaxy S4 Mini is a little bit easier to handle. It isn't as tall as the HTC One Mini, and its screen is positioned closer to the bottom edge. In other words, the furthest side of the S4 Mini screen is closer to the user's thumb, which makes it easier to reach. The power and volume buttons on the HTC One Mini, positioned on the top and right edge respectively, lack travel and don't provide much feedback. Reaching the power key is frustratingly hard, since it is usually too far away from the user's index finger. The Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini, on the other hand, comes with an excellent set of physical buttons. All of them are easy to reach and respond with an easy to feel click. Clearly the HTC One Mini has the better screen. While both displays have the same area and share a diagonal size of 4.3 inches, the HTC One Mini delivers much higher resolution and pixel density, 720 by 1280 pixels versus 540 by 960 pixels for the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini. And the difference is easy to notice with a naked eye when the two smartphones are put side by side. Anything from text in web pages to the pictures in the image gallery is sharper, more detailed and easier to make out on the HTC One Mini due to the higher pixel count. Color fidelity is also better on the HTC One Mini. Its Super LCD 3 screen displays very accurate hues across the entire spectrum, while the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini, which packs a Super AMOLED screen, tends to boost color saturation, albeit not by much. We're also very pleased with the outdoor visibility of the One Mini. While both displays have a low reflectance rating, the screen on the One Mini is brighter and clearer under broad daylight. Android 4.2.2 That's the operating system of choice coming pre-installed on both the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini and the HTC One Mini. But neither handset uses the platform in its stock form. Instead, the Galaxy S4 Mini comes with TouchWiz UI, while the One Mini relies on the latest version of Sense UI. Picking a favorite among these two interfaces is no easy task since they both have their advantages and peculiarities. The Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini, for example, is designed to appeal to a broader audience. It has a traditional home screen arrangement with plenty of room for icons and widgets, while the apps are listed in the app drawer. At the same time, the multitude of major and minor features introduced with the Galaxy S4 have been ported onto the S4 Mini. Group Play, S Translator, S Health, Smart Pulse, just to name a few. Overall, it is nice knowing that the smartphone is loaded with features, but whether a typical user would ever need or notice them is a whole different story. The modifications introduced with the HTC One Mini are slightly more radical. Therefore, they might not appeal to the experienced Android users who are used to the default look and feel of the system, although the company's implementation can actually be quite practical. Blink Feed is the default home screen, displaying a curated list of news and articles from a variety of internet sources, along with activity from social networks that the user is logged into. The goal of this is to bring all information that matters to the user within a tap's distance, perfect for active social networking users and people who like to be constantly in the know. A traditional home screen with icons and widgets is available as well and can be used by default instead of Blink Feed. Overall, the entire UI is simple, streamlined, polished and easy to get the hang of. The two smartphones come with on-screen keyboards that are of nearly identical width and height. That's why your input rate would depend mainly on how used your thumbs are to the layouts of their virtual keys, 
regardless of whether you are a fan of two thumb or single finger typing. Personally, it didn't take us long to get comfortable with both of them. The keyboards are definitely responsive enough to keep up with our fast fingers. Even though both smartphones have the same dual-core Snapdragon 400 chip handling all the computations, the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini can provide slightly more raw processing power. That's because its CPU can sprint at up to 1.7 GHz, while the HTC One Mini has its processor cores capped lower at 1.4 GHz. Moreover, Samsung's handset packs 1.5 GB of RAM, while there's only 1 GB for the One Mini. Having all that in mind, one might assume that the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini feels faster and more responsive while being used, but in reality we can't see much of a performance difference between the two. In fact, the S4 Mini might start dropping frames if its home screens are loaded with more widgets and shortcuts than needed, while the One Mini retains its smoothness at all times. In heavy 3D gaming scenarios, however, the Galaxy S4 Mini has the upper hand not only because of the higher clock speed, but due to the lower resolution of its screen. As a result, there are less pixels that need to be driven, which produces higher frame rates. Nevertheless, rest assured that even the latest, most intense 3D titles would run just fine on both handsets. Unfortunately, the HTC One Mini does not offer the option for expandable storage via microSD cards. Therefore, you'll be stuck with its 16GB of internal storage space, out of which about 11 gigs are available to the user. That's not a low amount by any means, but it will surely run out fast for those who like to carry around photos, music and other media on their device. The Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini does have just 8GB of built-in storage, about half of which is user accessible, but its microSD card slot can accommodate cards of up to 64 gigs in size. Both the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini and the HTC One Mini come with very fast web browsers, but the One Mini has the advantage of having a high resolution screen. As a result, small text in pages is sharper and easier to read. A potentially handy feature found on the HTC One Mini and not on the S4 Mini is Adobe Flash support. However, the plugin doesn't work perfectly on all web pages, which explains why it is turned off by default. Samsung has taken a conventional approach by equipping an 8MP autofocus camera on the Galaxy S4 Mini along with a single LED flash. The camera user interface is easy to navigate and it offers lots of handy camera modes, including burst shot, night shot and HDR. Shutter lag isn't an issue as the camera focuses quickly and captures the frame as soon as the button is tapped. The HTC One Mini, however, has a camera with only 4MP of resolution in native 16x9 ratio. But the sensor itself, being of the ultra-pixel variety, is made of much larger pixels. Theoretically, that should boost the camera's low-light performance, even though the level of detail captured in each frame might be reduced. The camera user interface has not been designed the best way possible. Mode settings and adjustments are listed in a single menu with multiple sub-menus that you have to scroll through until you get to the item you're searching for. But that aside, the HTC One Mini also offers HDR and night modes, along with a cool slow motion setting while shooting videos. Like the S4 Mini, it exhibits minimal shutter lag, which is important for capturing events as they happen. In reality, daytime photos produced with these two smartphones turn out equally good and have the same neutral color balance. The Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini has the advantage of packing more megapixels, which is why its photos are more detailed when you zoom in but the HTC One Mini has a wider field of view, so it can capture a wider frame from the same distance. Shooting indoors, however, yields unimpressive results. The photos from the HTC One Mini lack detail, while the S4 Mini often fails to set the right color balance. Both smartphones are capable of recording high-quality video at 1080p resolution, but the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini is slightly better at it than the HTC One Mini. As our samples demonstrate, the daytime videos from the S4 Mini are more detailed, while its low-light videos are much smoother. The HTC One Mini just cannot capture as much detail in broad daylight, while its low-light videos look as if they were recorded at a frame rate way below 30 frames per second. The Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini comes with a custom audio player application loaded with features. You get the mandatory lock screen controls and the rich selection of audio enhancements, such as the sound alive equalizer, a bass booster, and adapt sound that fine-tunes the sound for you.
The music player on the HTC One Mini has a pretty similar feature set and is just as good. Again, music playback can be controlled even from the lock screen and you get Beats Audio Sound Enhancements, Sound Hound Integration and Audio Visualizer. The HTC One Mini has the upper hand when it comes to watching videos. It has much broader support across many popular file formats, a high resolution screen producing more detail and a set of outstanding front-facing stereo speakers. The Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini doesn't support QuickTime or DivX videos, but it does come with the pop-up play feature, allowing videos to be played back in a window hovering above the user interface. When it comes to phone calls, the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini has a good sounding earpiece. If needed, its volume output can be boosted with a tap of a button, but doing so takes a toll on sound quality. The microphone works well, but the audio is slightly digitized on the other side of the line, most likely because of the noise cancelling microphone. The earpiece on the HTC One Mini is slightly better as it is capable of producing clearer voice tones even when its volume isn't set to the maximum level. Again, the microphone gets the job done, but the voices might sound slightly artificial on the other side of the line. A noise cancellation microphone is present as well. It might seem strange, but the HTC One Mini can last slightly longer on a single charge, even though it has a smaller 1800mAh internal battery. It is rated for over 13 hours of talk time on 3G, or 28.8 days in standby. The Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini and its 1900mAh battery is rated for about 12 hours of 3G talk time and just about 12 days on standby, but at least its battery is not sealed and can be removed. Nevertheless, a typical user should expect at least a full day's worth of usage from either handset. So in conclusion, both Samsung and HTC have crafted excellent mini versions of their current flagships, unifying premium user experience with compact form factor. But each of these two Android smartphones excels in its own way. For example, the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini is smaller, lighter and easier to handle. Also, it comes with a better camera and with a microSD card slot for storage expansion. The HTC One Mini, on the other hand, would attract many with its outstanding design. On top of that, it comes with a much better screen and a great set of stereo front-facing speakers, which makes it ideal for entertainment and multimedia consumption. So all in all, it's a tie and we can't really elect a clear winner between the two. Both can serve as an example as to how a good mid-range device should be made. So regardless of which one you pick, chances are you won't be disappointed. So thank you for watching our video comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini and the HTC One Mini. This is Nick. For more details, feel free to check out our website phonearena.com.